can see these vehicles that they got here that you can drive inside this airport. And there it is, you got Istanbul 3D. Look at this, you got the mosque, you got the bridge and the from all of the Champions League finals since 2005. guys it is 12.01 a.m and it's tuesday august 8th so this is it guys today is the day that you've all been waiting for it is the day of the big journey the day has come at last eh i said at the end of yesterday's video that as soon as we wake up in the morning we'll prepare to begin the grand journey. Now it is Tuesday morning and just like any other morning in the summer, people are head out to the pool, enjoying a nice, fresh swim. But for us, it is going to be a 24-hour journey to our house in the U.S. Critically importantly, we will be taking two planes in one day. And yeah, they're smoky before we move on out. And so this to this house it's not a farewell but see you later now they're dropping smokey off at my grandma's house and this is it even though we'll already be out of here by then it turns out that smokey is going to need a vaccination so they'll take him to the vet at some point <laughs> That's the first part of this grand journey done and over with, but still got more to come. And up we go to the lounge. It is 10.46 a.m. And we're just outside the gates E1 and E2. You can see these vehicles that they got here that you can drive inside this airport. We did this once. Wow, look at how they put these plants. You see on this pot right there, how they put this. That's with curly bamboo sticks. So yeah, we got the business lounge this time. <laughs> Look at what this thing is right next to this store that you can get luxury earrings and purses. Look at that. What a place to be sitting in the lounge. And there's other reasons to say what a place to take in this airport lounge show you around there it is you got istanbul 3d look at this you got the mosque you got the bridge and the castle this is really cool the thing is though that you can get up to two remotes so this is why only two cars can drive around this but it's like a loop it's it's very nice how they put these tables like that especially that big one that's funny but they also got a popcorn stand but you also got a slide but look at how they designed that just spectacular and it clearly suits flying so this is not only a slide but 
you're gonna be very surprised to see how there is a gaming room inside that is playing as well amazing they have no words that's kind of a mix actually it's like i'm putting a bowl of apples and bananas things like that when you just saw that plane that has a slide and a gaming room now i'm gonna get into the champions league exhibition so it's not even that big at all they have pretty much all the t-shirts and yeah by the way there is a gaming room in that one too you see you can play a soccer game right on this but you can notice that these are all the stuff from all of the champions league finals since 2005. you got the jerseys you got the final posters you got the magazines of it and <laughs> Look at this, by the way, that scoreboard. The red, ten, the red 20 and then the green 23. And even the balls, like, got that one for 2023. Really nice pattern, since it's Istanbul 2023. It's a nice pattern. And then that is one with the stars. And this is from 2021. And this Istanbul 20. Well, it should have been Istanbul 23, though actually and the ball from 2019 oh this one is really really cool though look at the colors of it and look at also the pattern of it this is hot colors i like this you can even see the goalkeepers gloves do this thing too and the shorts and the t-shirts like this is absolutely nice actually yeah you do got the plane as well but you see I think you got as many as three or four Cristiano Ronaldo jerseys right over here. But there should be some. Oh, okay. Well, still, I mean, you got three Cristiano Ronaldo uniforms on this exhibition. <laughs> Looks like it's game over anyway. Huh? But yeah. Look at what's on the back of the seat, though. Like, what kind of a monitor that even is but yeah iconic actually well if you follow football then you may have heard that recently Lionel Messi moved to Inter Miami no words but this is iconic like it's already August 8th it was June 8th when we came here with the plane from the US and on June 10th it was the Champions League final now it's August 8th yeah, Turkish Airlines to sponsor the Champions League. Now it is exactly noon, so we just left the lounge. This is nice. How do they put these beach balls up like that? Well, yeah, feel the summer, but all these beach balls, it's like a rain of beach balls. There we go. Now we got the plane, and look at this. We got the front seat. I'm at 1K. Small devices may be held, but laptops and larger devices must be stowed in their cases in the overhead compartments or under the seat in front of you. If your device is lost or falls into the seat structure, do not move your seat. In business class, simply pull the red band to release your oxygen mask. Emergency exits are located on each side of the cabin at the front, center, and rear. The exit signs will help you locate them. Look at the seating, so this is how you can put your bags and yeah, very much different from the last time I flew Elite with the International Airline. So planes like this, airball up. All right, folks.
that's it. And just took off. Yeah, you can tell from the texture to see that it is very windy today. But it was shaking for 10 to 15 seconds. Check this out, guys. <laughs> Whoa. what they just offered. Yeah, like when they give it to you, it is hot, but yeah, this is uh, the clean towel. Check that out. This is going to be a business flight classic, but these nuts. Guys, I actually just found the life hack. So, the can is this button right here, right? You can actually press the gray button to dim the light. Well, we'll wait for a moment to see how it is. This is like a life hack, you guys. Here's where my mom sits, and our even two windows have been dimmed, and now I am dimming my windows as well but that is going to take some time but the window next to me lol just look at the difference this is awesome you guys it's like on one side it's 7 a.m and on the other side it's 7 p.m now it is getting even dimmer that light so soon it is going to become like night yeah this is a slow process it takes like two or three minutes for it to get completely dark like in the night Nine minutes are close enough now, but we still got the windows on dark mode. Ta da! So that's where they put all these headphones in this pack over here. Now the hostesses are taking them all away. And look, it uh, still feels mysterious. Still speaking, we will begin to descend in a couple of minutes for San Francisco Airport. And if there is no London traffic, we'd expect to land. Uh, 10 minutes to 5 o'clock p.m. in accordance with local time. And the latest weather at San Francisco is sky particle on the temperature 23 degrees Celsius. We're about to land, you guys. So, just got an announcement from the captain saying that we're going to prepare to land. And honestly, I feel relieved at this point. Not only because I survived this flight, because there's still one more plane that we're going to take, but this seat was just worth it. And it's even better than the first time I flew Elite on April the 5th. You can see that this is only one seat and the one on the left. Well, you got a two-seater in the middle of this row, but on the left and the right end, you got just to yourself. Dear passengers, as we are descending, Make sure that your hand luggage is stowed in the overhead bins or under the seat in front of you. Please fasten your seatbelt stowed properly and read your safety card in your seat pocket carefully. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, still got this and they can along, right? Well, it is 
and see how much we got. 21 minutes. Now we're down to 21 minutes. Uh-huh. There we go now. It is starting to get brighter. And that shows that that's just about it. <laughs> yeah, that candle. Now I can start to see some harness about here. And the lake. That's funny. According to the weather channel, it does sound like we are going to land in an overcast. closer to the mountain so we landed at the bright side looks like the sky's in panic here <laughs> but yeah just got off the plane gonna get the baggage claim but then we are going to get into terminal two i think all right now pass through that and i'm taking the train to Yes, we're going to Terminal 2 actually. First off, it's Terminal 3. See, so, yeah, I can get a view of that airport and yeah, the clouds. Kind of funny. And even the outside of it. So now we're in Terminal 2. All right, now I'm outside and look at the text drop on this wall here. That's funny actually, but now we are going to depart from here. So we landed here and we are going to depart. So yeah, it's the first time I'm taking two planes in one day. Another plane has just departed there and that's where you take the trains, which we were just there. We were just on that train till terminal two and that's it so i did get myself cold water and now i'll find a place to have early dinner before we end the plane for 8 30. pedal space squad galaxy pack <laughs> look at this i don't even know what these are made out of exactly but design and drill robot and basics 300 piece these look like legos actually and some more MLB Poly Junior, what? <laughs> so they're trying to make a Monopoly baseball game from here. How do they do this? But yeah, this is all the stuff that I got. 
inside this store. Now we came to a place that you see got antique items, including cameras and pictures that were taken with these cameras. And look, we even got some of these handmade toys right there. But again, most of these are from way back in the day. What? Look at this right here. Like, is this a TV or is this a globe view? Like, what is this? That's, yeah, and it's also wood. Like, what kind of a TV is that? And you got a panda bear plush toy. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually more than okay with that. For some reason, I'm even amused with that if it's next to a TV like that. And look, some junk. That made me even feel more amused than seeing that panda. Uh, now, that's going to be the second plane for today. So we're just about to get in this one world right here. Uh, there's the Alaska Airlines right there. It is after sunset now. So we're about to depart. There we go. That's just about it. So another airplane is about to depart. And looks like after that guy, it's going to be us. Uh, there he goes. There that last airline goes. Alright, uh, so it is getting dark. You can still see that cloud cover. And that edge there, there's a southwest. And I can see it through the hills. That cloud cover goes through the hills. Oh, look at this pattern, by the way. <laughs> it reminds me of a car race, actually. Like one of those Cars movies when I saw that square pattern. It's like that flag that you pull when you're about to start a race. Oh, there. Ooh. Oh my god, it looks like we're going to be departing with that United Airline there. Look. Just going to take a photo of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the colored lights. That's even better at night. And there's three planes that are about to make a landing. United has departed. And there as well. So now both us and the United Airlines have departed. Like, looks like we departed just at the same time. Oh, it's lovely how you got McDonald's over here, but they're done working for a day. Now it's 9.56. That's absolutely lovely, though, still. I think, guys, so I am going to put it to an end there for today after what has been an absolutely adventurous day. So there's where we're going to get the baggages and surprise. That is at the airport, so not my dad. Now the luggages are starting to get dumped out. So that is going to be the end of this video, guys. I'm really hoping that you enjoyed this hell of a journey. So this 
was the grand journey. I'll talk to you guys in the video tomorrow. Have a nice day.